perspective and I'm looking at a globe of the world. Have you seen one of these before? Wow, there's lots of different countries and it has all the different places in the world on it, which is pretty cool. So let's have a look, what can we find? I can see Egypt here in blue. I can see, whoa, look how big Brazil is. <gasps> big blue country there. What else can I find? <gasps> can you see this orange country down the bottom here? It's Australia and that's where I'm from. Right down the bottom here in Australia. I have a map of Melbourne here as well because I'm from Melbourne in Australia. Have you seen a map of where you live before? Maybe you saw it on a phone as you were driving somewhere and it told you which way to turn left and which way to turn right. <laughs> but I love looking at maps because you can see all the different streets that you drive on. On this map of Melbourne, you can see the Yarra River flows through the middle of the city. And when I look at a map, I can see all the little neighborhoods that are in that city. So on this one, I can see all the little neighborhoods in Melbourne, which is pretty fun. Do you know what your neighborhood is called? Maybe it's Melbourne like mine, but maybe you could look at a map and see which streets are part of your neighborhood, which parks are part of your neighborhood, which rivers are part of your neighborhood. <laughs> but I wonder if you know who your neighbor is. Have you met the people that live next door? Are they your neighbors? Is it the people who live in the whole city of Melbourne or in your city too? Hmm. Well, someone in our story today asked Jesus this very question. He said, who is my neighbor, Jesus? And we're gonna find out the story Jesus told him to answer his question. But before we do that, I have a friend that I would love you to meet. I was hoping that you would get to meet Fred Bear, but I haven't seen him anywhere. Can you see Fred Bear? Hmm, excuse me, have you seen Fred Bear? Oh, you look all bandaged up. Here, how about I help you with that? Let's unravel your bandages, here you go. <laughs> Oh, Fred Bear, it's you. I didn't recognize him under all those bandages. Hmm, well, there you are. Fred Bear's my friend, and he's my neighbor too. And, oh, it's in this bag. Can you guess what's inside the bag? It has a cross on the front of it. It looks like something that a doctor might carry. Let's have a look inside. It's got some bandages. Hmm, kind of like what Fred Bear was wrapped up in. I wonder if there's some bandages in our story today. Maybe someone uses some bandages to look after someone. Hmm, we'll have to wait till a little bit later to hear that. But first, we're going to do a really fun activity. So let's get ready to have some fun together. All right, are you ready to get a little bit messy today? That's good because I'm going to paint my hands. So I've got a paintbrush here and some red and pink paint. And I, so I'm gonna put my paintbrush in the red paint first and I'm going to 
hate my hand. Ooh, it feels very slimy. Here we go. Let's. Ooh, it's a little bit cold too. Here we go. Make sure we get paint all over our hands. There we go. All the way up to our fingertips. All the way down to our palm. All over our hands. There we go. Now, can you guess what I'm going to do with my hand? That's right. I am going to make a handprint. So I'm going to put my hand up against the paper here and press really hard. Oh, and I made a red handprint. <laughs> How great is that? And you know, over the last few weeks, we've been talking about what it means to follow Jesus and be his disciple. And you know, one of the things we get to do as disciples of Jesus is we get to love him. We get to love God. You know, the Bible says to love God with all our heart, all our soul, all our mind, and all our strength. There's a song that I love to sing about this, and you can sing it with me if you like. It goes like this. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength, with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Great job, everyone. Now, for my other hand, I'm going to paint my hand pink. So I'm going to put my paintbrush in the pink paint today and paint my other hand. <gasps> Ooh, a nice pink color. I'll just put all the paint on and then I will show you the bright pink color it is. Now I'm getting very messy here. So I'm going to have to wash my hands soon. And I'm putting on lots of pink paint. Here we go. Now I'm just going to make sure I get it all the way up to my fingers. Here we go. <gasps> all right. <gasps> Can you see my hand now? All nice and pink. And what shall I do with it now that I've painted it pink? That's right, I'm going to make another hand print. So are you ready? I'm gonna press down really firm. <gasps> and look, we made a pink hand print. And we were just talking about how disciples can love God, that we as followers of Jesus can love God. But just like we talked about last week, followers of Jesus can love others too. We love people like Jesus did, which is really cool. And I have a song that can help us remember that one too. Because the really exciting thing about loving others is that God helps us love others. That because God loves us so much, we can love other people. And so the song goes like this. God loves me, God loves me. Yes, he does, yes, he does. And because he loves me, I can love others. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. All right, sing it with me this time. Are you ready? <laughs> God loves me, God loves me. Yes, he does, yes, he does. 
And because he loves me, I can love others. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. <gasps> Great job, everyone. I'm going to go wash my hands and you can get ready for our story today because our friend Charlotte is gonna share with us this great story about who our neighbor is and what Jesus said in response. I'll see you soon. Hi everybody, my name is Charlotte and today we're gonna to be reading a story. This story's name is The Good Samaritan. An expert in the law of Moses stood up and asked Jesus a question one day to see what he would say. What must I do to have eternal life? He asked. What is written in the scriptures? Said Jesus. The scriptures say, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, strength and mind. They also say, love your neighbours as much as you love yourself. You have given the right answer, said Jesus. If you do this, you will have eternal life. But the man wanted to show that he knew what he was talking about. Who are my neighbours? he asked Jesus. And Jesus answered by telling this story. As a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho, robbers attacked him and grabbed everything that he had. They beat him up, ran off, leaving him for dead. Mm, that's not very nice, is it? A priest happened to be going down the same road. But when he saw the man, he walked past on the other side. Hmm. Later, a temple helper came to the same place. What do you think he's going to do? I hope that he's going to help him. Let's see. But when he saw the man who had been beaten up, he also went past on the other side. The man really needs some help, doesn't he? A man from Samaria then came travelling along that road. When he saw the man, he felt sorry for him and went over to him. He treated his wounds with olive oil and wine and bandaged them. He, then he put his, him on his own donkey and took him to an inn where he took care of him. That's very nice, isn't it? The next morning, he gave the innkeeper two silver coins and said, please take care of the man. If you spend more than this on him, I will pay you when you return. Jesus asked the man, which of these three people was a real neighbor to the man who was beaten up by robbers? The one who showed pity, said the man. Go and do the same. Jesus. And that's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed. Did you enjoy our story today? Did you also notice that at the start of the story, the man tells Jesus something very similar to the song we sung earlier about loving God with all our heart, all our soul, all our mind and all our strength. And you know, that's super special to me because I love God. I love him with all my heart and you can too. You know, part of following Jesus means that we can love him. Just kind of like, you know, in your family or maybe you have an auntie or an uncle or a grandparent or um, a friend that you love. It's like that you can love them. God's invited us into his family and we can love him with all our heart. It's pretty amazing. You know what else I love about the story we just heard that Jesus told is the amount of love that the Samaritan showed for the man that needed help. 
And you know, we can show that love to others too. <laughs> when we know that God loves us, we can love others too. And it's true, you know, God loves you so much more than you might even know. He cares about you so much. God made a way when Jesus came so that we could be with him forever because he loves us so much. You know, in my life, I have known that Jesus cares about me. When I'm doing everyday things, I can talk to him and hear his voice. And he helps me do things because he cares about me. You know, there's a song that I heard recently that I love to sing because it reminds me of the special kind of love that Jesus has for me and has for you. This song talks about how no one ever cared for me like Jesus. And that means that it's a special kind of care that Jesus has for us because only Jesus could do what he did. I'm going to sing it now and you can sit and listen with your listening ears to the words. But it talks about how when we get older and we get gray hair, how we can still love him, how we can find our joy in him. All right, let's listen together. No one ever cared for me like Jesus. His faithful hand has held me all this way. And when I'm old and gray and all my days are numbered on the earth, let it be known in you alone my joy. there you have it. It's a simple song, but it reminds me of how much Jesus cares about me. Mm. And because he cares about me, I can love him and love others as his disciple. I've missed your smiling faces so much. Have you been having fun this morning? I love the story of the Good Samaritan. So, we've got a fun craft activity to do today. And these are the things you need. You need this one out of your craft kit and this one. You're going to need some scissors. And remember, scissors are sharp. You're going to need some glue and you're gonna need some colored pencils. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do some colouring. So I've got a pink pencil, but you could use red or any other colour you like. And I'm going to colour in this heart. You know, today's craft is shaped like a band-aid because a band-aid is something we use to help people. And the story of the Good Samaritan is all about a disciple that knows how important it is to love God and love others. He stopped to help because he knew that that was how he could show God's love. Now, we're gonna color in our words. You must use a light color. So I've got yellow, but you could use orange or any really light color. Now the words here are, disciples love God and love others. The Good Samaritan, Luke 10, 25, to 37. My favourite part of the story is how helpful the Good Samaritan was and how he showed love for the injured man and in doing so showed how much God loves him too. Did you know that God loves you very, very, very much? Alright, how's your colouring going? I bet you're doing it great job what colors did you use what a great choice all righty so when we've done our coloring in we need to do our cutting now remember 
So this is a sharp and you might need an adult to help you. So I've got my helper hand all ready to hold my paper and I'm going to do my cutting very carefully around the solid line. Now this one, now this one's careful because we're going to cut around the outside edge and then we're going to cut through the middle too. See how I'm going nice and slow and being nice and careful? Have you got a grown up nearby who's helping you? That's excellent news. going to do a big cut through the middle here. Alright, so big cut. So now you should have two halves and your middle bit. Remember it says disciples love God and love others. Alright, have you got your glue? So first off we're going to bend along this little dotted line. So like that and then across this other dotted line bend it back like that now take your glue and put it on the white bit but only at these ends so this end and this end okay nice dollop of glue Hope you're being nice and careful with your glue too. And then we stick on our half pieces like this. And now you should have a lovely little band-aid that looks like this. And you can open it up and read the words. Disciples love God and love others. The Good Samaritan. Luke 10, 25 to 37. Can't wait to see you next time. Hope you're all being good Samaritans too and being great to your parents. Jesus loves you. Bye. I love that I can be like the Samaritan who stopped and helped and loved the person who needed helping. Even when two other people walked by because of all the reasons they could think of not to help in their head, they just left that poor man there. But the Samaritan didn't. He stopped and he did something to show his love. And we can do that too. Maybe right now you can have a think of some people that you can show love to this week. Maybe it's by baking them some yummy treats. Or maybe it's loving them by playing with them on the playground. Or maybe it's loving them by going to bed when mum and dad ask us to. Or maybe it's loving them when our brother or our sister are really annoying us. Because sometimes it's hard to love people. But we can take a deep breath. And remember that we have God's love and so we can give that to others and love them anyway. You know, we can love all the people around us, even when it's hard, because they're all our neighbours. Can you see all the people having fun here? I'm going to give them all a little bit of love. He's riding his scooter. And the people in the car. And the people eating ice creams. And there we go. Lots of love spread to all our neighbours. Before we go today, we're going to pray. 
And maybe you can think about some people in your world that you would like to share Jesus with, or you would love to share and show love to. Maybe it's someone that's hard to be nice to, or someone that it's tricky to be kind to. I want you to think about their name, and we're gonna to pray together that God would help us show them love. All right. Dear God, I thank you for today. I thank you for the way that you love us and care for us and that you care for us like no one else can. I thank you for the story you told Jesus about the Samaritan who stopped and loved that man and that we can do the same for our neighbours, that we can be a neighbour to people. Help us to love these friends that we have in our minds, the names of people that might be hard to love, but would we be able to show them in all different ways, your love and your kindness, Jesus. And all of Discovery Kids said, Amen. <laughs> well done, everyone. I hope that you have thought of a way that you can show someone love this week. Maybe it's playing with them. Maybe it's baking them something. Maybe it's drawing them a picture. <laughs> Whatever you decide to do, I hope that you can always remember that we as followers of Jesus we can love God and love others. I'll see you next time. Thank you.